Nature never made any provision for the idle man. Vigorous activity is the law of life. It is the saving grace, the only thing that can keep a human being from retrograding. Activity along the lines of one's highest ambition is the normal state of men. One of the greatest satisfaction in this world is the feeling of enlargement, of growth, of stretching upward and onward. Whatever your vocation, if you are in love with the beautiful, it will purify your taste and enrich your life. Beauty is from within. I must cultivate a gracious mentality. Man was made for growth. I must grow larger and broader every day. It is absolutely necessary to be always learning, always absorbing knowledge from every possible source and at every opportunity. I must pursue a definite program for self-improvement every day. A habit of forcing yourself to fix your mind steadfastly and systematically upon certain studies is, of itself, of the greatest value. This habit helps one to utilize the odds and ends of time, which are unattainable to most people because they have never been trained to concentrate the mind at regular intervals. A good understanding of the possibilities that live in spare moments is a great success asset. The very reputation of always trying to improve yourself of seizing every opportunity to make yourself better, the reputation of being serious and determined, determined to be somebody and to do something in the world. Such a reputation is the best kind of capital. We are under the suggestion of influence every moment of our waking lives. Everything we see, hear and feel has a subtle power which affects the very springs of life. The suggestion which comes from a sweet, beautiful, charming character is contagious and can arouse the ambition and stir the energies of others. Education and learning is a health tonic. Every uplifting thought and word spoken, every noble aspiration for the good and for the true, every longing of the heart for a higher and better life, every lofty purpose and unselfish endeavor reacts upon the body, makes it stronger, more harmonious, and more beautiful. It is a great thing to form a habit, acquire a reputation of always talking upwards, of seeing good things, of always encouraging and of always being optimistic in everything. Worry not only wastes energy and saps vitality, but it also seriously affects the quality of one's work. A man cannot get the highest quality of efficiency into his work when his mind is troubled. The mental faculties must have perfect freedom before they will give out their best. Every moment of worry detracts from our success capital, interrupts the harmony of our physical and mental well-being and cripples efficiency. Fill your mind with courage, hope, and confidence. Your mind must be kept full with the image of courage, fearlessness, confidence, hope, self-assurance, and self-reliance. Persist in keeping prosperity in your mind, assume a hopeful, optimistic attitude, and conduct business in a systematic, economical, and far-sighted manner. Make the effort which is absolutely necessary to bring victory. Make a habit of clearing the mind every night. The destiny of my journey is only made concrete by the quality of my daily routines. Others around us provide opportunities to learn and to understand ourselves, to pull us up toward our better selves. Real education can only begin out of a foundation of self-awareness. Know the truth of yourself. Education is a matter of self-mastery, then self-enlargement, then self-transcendence. All possibilities of the human spirit open themselves into zones for exploration and understanding. Education must be largely self-initiated, a tapestry woven out of broad experience, constant introspection, ability to concentrate on one's purpose in spite of distractions, a combination of curiosity, patience and intense watchfulness. It requires substantial trial and error, risk-taking, along with considerable ability to take feedback from the environment. To learn from our mistakes. Growth and self-mastery are reserved for those who vigorously self-direct, planning, doing, creating, reflecting, freely associating, and taking chances. The inner clock is ticking in every life, warning us we have appointments to keep with reality, real work to do, real skills to learn, real battles to fight, real risks to take, real ideas to wrestle with, and a desperate need to keep death present in our imagination to never forget how short and inevitable the arc of life really is. Constantly develop your heart, mind and spirit.